Right, so I made this game over two years ago, and according to the title, it's very hard. Um, I haven't played it, I think, since 2019, but I want to see if I can remember how to solve all the puzzles. Um, hopefully there's at least something I don't remember how to do, because otherwise this will be too easy. Iris to move, Z to jump. Oh god, this is very laggy. Uh, I think I'll have to get out of full screen. That'll do. Okay, so... All you have to do is get to the door. Alright, that was pretty easy. Okay, interesting. Huh. I am already a little confused by this level. So that's... <laughs> that's good. Oh, you can double jump. Wait, is that makeable? Okay, so I think... There was a ledge over here that you can jump onto. God, this must be so frustrating for everyone else. <laughs> it's hard to even make the jump once you find it. This is level 2 out of like 20. Oh, I did it. And then you go down the hole? Yes. Alright, so this one's kind of boring. I immediately know what to do. But, see if you can figure it out. You'll notice this text over here. You're gonna take it literally. So drag the uh, the pipes. But what you actually have to do is drag this one down enough that you can jump onto it. And then over here. A key might help. Yeah, I know what this is. Pause and figure it out if you wanna figure it out, but um, you read it like A key, like the A key. Go here, press A. Yep. Yeah, I think some people might have thought at this point, if you drop off the screen, you're just gone. There's no way to like die and reset. Uh, but you can just jump back on the screen. I can see some arrows. So you gotta follow those arrows. God, this is annoying. So the arrows are pointing up to like the middle top left ish. And that's where the code is. I'm gonna reveal it. Yep. 8066. Was that the whole thing? It was. Level 6. Yeah, kind of an interesting situation. I don't know if this thing's. Oh, yeah. You go up here. Don't know what that does. Is that a decoy? I think it's either a decoy or just a way to let you know that sometimes you can go through the floor. Which is what you need to do by going beneath the door and then up to it, but not through that part. <laughs> oh no, it's not a decoy. I figured it out. You have to go through here and then jump on top of the wall. Is my mouse visible? No, it's not. Well, you need to jump on top of this wall, which is off screen. Um, and then jump to the left, like way over this giant wall, and then hopefully land uh, beneath the door somewhere. It's a big jump. I don't know if I got those kind of hops. Oh, I, I made it, I made it. Okay, yeah, I, I know what this was, but it might either come very easily to you, or impossibly. Yeah, so what you need to do is disconnect from the internet. And then you're at the next level. Let me just plug that back in. This might look a little bit advanced, and maybe it is. So you just gotta read this up top. Six, six, say, four, D, six, A, four, D, six, A, four, D, six, A, four, D. Six, A would be the screen one, and then four, D would be this dark blue. I mean this, the green. So I have to figure out the RGB values of both of those. Oh no. 6A means six across and 4D means four down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. It's this green thing. I'm gonna open that and paint and figure out the the freaking 
RGB value, 6423291, unless I wanted it in a different format. It worked! I'm a genius! Alright, this one's kinda crazy. Got a little elevator. This ledge here that might mean nothing. So I'm pretty sure these uh, slash, these triangle symbols with the slashes just mean you press those to go up and down. Except, you'll notice an out of order sign. Until 2023. Uh, but no, yeah, I remembered exactly how to do this level. I'm pretty sure I programmed this to like say until two years from the current date, so this would have used to say 2021, which would have meant I didn't have to do anything, but I do have to do something. There's a lot of crap you have to do outside of like the game itself to pass levels. So for this one, you gotta change the date on your computer slash device to like the year. I did it. <laughs> So it's just slash and backslash to go up and down. Level 10, a very simplistic one, uh, except I just re revealed the whole entire thing. All right, we've got a bunch of binary. I think there were five. Oh, I just remembered something about this level. <laughs> I'm quite sure there are, there's at least one more. All right, so maybe that is actually it. But I'm gonna open a three, two letters. Oh, I should probably change my date back to the current year so that Google lets me exist. I guess you just go from lightest to darkest. And then the other secret is that <laughs> one of the binary segments is this level 10 number itself. Something tells me plus euro is not correct. Oh yeah. There's, a, there's an invisible wall up top. Did I, where am I? Holy shit. Okay, <laughs> I, need, I need to reel it back. Oh, I'm still on the wall. I'll just walk across. So there's a hole immediately and you have to jump over it. And then there's more platform. Jesus Christ. So I think there's a giant hole. I think this is, this is gonna take dumb luck, I think. What? Maybe there's another hole in the middle of the second platform. And it's either that or just a giant gaping canyon. Oh, I did it. God. What does this say? Space. Is that really it? I just have to press space. I could have gotten that off the... Uh, <laughs> I didn't need the fifth binary thing. It, it practically said space. Oh, do I have to add the 10 as well? And then it says space F. Okay, yeah, it's not just space. Perfect. Well, that was definitely the hardest one so far. Um, and what is going on here? Actually, I think I know, but let me just go, go up here to grab the little clue. Down the hatch, which might seem meaningless. It's like, okay, yeah, I'll go down the hatch, but how? By pressing down, because down. It's also like, there's also like a second meaning to that clue. If you've ever seen the show Lost, well, they, they find a hatch and then they find this Dharma computer. But I'm not evil. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you're not familiar with the show, you're not just stuck on this level. Because if you Google Dharma, uh, you should find some useful information. At least if you type in Dharma computer. Yeah. But basically, You'll find out that the numbers you have to type into here, are they gonna be on here? Well, these aren't all of them, but you can find the numbers. It's four, eight, maybe you need spaces. I don't know, four, eight, 15, 16, 23, 42. Try with num uh, spaces. Ooh, I did it. What we got here is, well, I think just the first one's an anagram. The rest are uh, something else. <laughs> so the first one, semicolon. Wait, no, you, you, don't, you don't type it. You type the symbol. This one, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but just looking at it, I think it's, I think it's like an alphabet shift. You switch the letters out for something 
somewhere else in the alphabet. So like, maybe you switch them over one. So A is B, B is C. Uh, this is a good website to use. So I'm just gonna type this in, Glizkicks. So it'll show you all like all the shifts over here. I'm just gonna look for one that, um, oh, I didn't do it right. Look for one that makes a word after. So what's happening is the A is shifted six letters later to G and F is shifted to L, so on. But yeah, you don't have to really do any more work. Just type in the rest of the thing. After the palindrome. Oh yeah. Yeah, this, this level's pretty advanced, I'll, uh, I'll admit. After the palindrome, you might think, okay, I'll just type that in. But that's not the answer. I'm just gonna leave that in for now. It'll be the wrong answer. I know what the real answer is, but this Russian thing. The worst part is you can't copy and paste it, so if you don't speak Russian, got some work to do. So I'm gonna look up Russian alphabet, paste all the symbols into Google Translate, and then probably won't even be the answer, it'll probably just be another clue. It's Ice Storm of the Forest Storm. What have I done wrong here? Maybe the X and Y are actually different? Yes. Did you mean... Yes, <laughs> there it is. Sandstorm artist. That is the clue. Just take a second if, and see if you can uh, figure that one out. Sandstorm artist. The answer is Darude, the composer behind smash hit song Sandstorm. Haven't passed the level yet because the second one is wrong. After the palindrome is in fact a clue. So let's find a palindrome. A uh, palindrome is something that is read forwards and backwards the same way. For example, the word level is a palindrome. So what's after that? 12. Did it. This looks like a bit of a headache, but uh, yeah, I, kn I know what's going on here. TV is blinking Morse code, if you can see that. And then with that Morse code, I'm sure we can do something to this string of letters then find a password, which is not password. Oh God, I have to find out where this loops. Okay, so the long pause will be where, the, where it ends. This is so freaking long. I honestly, I think that was four dots. I can't really tell. You know what? I'm gonna watch back the video of that instead of waiting for the loop every time. Once I figure it out, I'll come back. All right, I figured out the Morse code. It took a while, <laughs> but what it says is follow V, follow V. And yeah, I kind of remember how this goes, but what that means is you look at all the V's in this big string of text uh, and take the letter after each V. Like the one that follows V. T. I. W. Look, we got the word time now. Uh, I think... Oh wait, still more. Two. Four. H. Time now, 24 hours. So what you actually have to do is get the current time. So for me, it's 3.29 p.m. And in 24 hour time, that would make it 15.29. So I think just typing that would work. Yes, I did it. <laughs> yeah, good luck with this if you're trying to do it on your own. But yeah, I remember how, how this goes, unfortunately. So what this is, is it's like a keyboard flight path. So if you look at A on like a normal keyboard, uh, relative to B, that's kind of where they are. So these two dots at the top left, I guess that would be A, W. I don't know, I don't know which one you start at. Wait, no, it has to be the bottom one, because the top one doesn't really form a one path. It goes A. Then you look at this. Well, it's either C or V. Loki is there. I, I do remember parts of the answer, but not exactly. Oh, and the red one, with, starting with B, is big. Three letters and it kind of matches up. Um, maybe something big, but big is huge. Oh, I know the whole answer now. M, A, N. Oh yeah, so these are both A. But basically what you're meant to get from that, oh, let's say you do, do it in the wrong order. Ackman huge. What if you went huge? Ackman. Guess what? <laughs> it's a famous actor. Hugh Jackman. Plays Hugh Jackman. Or oh, Hugh Jackman plays. And Loki is there. You might be thinking, oh, some kind of like superhero movie, maybe it's Wolverine, but that's not the answer. 
honestly, some of these levels are just ridiculous. Um, the movie you're supposed to be looking at is Prisoners. Uh, I just remember that. But if I were to figure this out, maybe just type, type in Hugh Jackman and Loki. Yeah, type that in. The first movie you get is the Prisoners Wikipedia. Because there's like a character in this called Loki. Yeah, Detective Loki. But who does Hugh Jackman play? He plays Kala Dover. So is that the answer? And it is. Oh, I think this is the last label. Now what's going on? One last code, eh? Might be wondering where to start, but uh, just press the arrows and I think the ball will show up. I, I swear the ball was in this level. Oh god. Maybe if I just press right for a while. Just hold it down for a while. Oh my god. Okay, so I was up at the top somewhere. Oh yeah, there's no jump in this in this stage. Oh wait, there is. There's no Z jump. I, I, I must have forgot to code that in. That's kind of annoying. Oh, okay, we've got to figure out what that says. Which, which I'm sure you've seen. I, I kind of know what to do already, but let's just reveal the clue. Freetown. Freetown is its capital. Is in. <laughs> right to the edge. It's flag. So a free town is its capital. Let's let's just Google Freetown and see what happens. Freetown is the capital and largest city of Sierra Leone. Oh. Perhaps we should look up the flag of that country. It's probably on the Wikipedia. There it is. Green, white, blue. Hmm, interesting. This this text here seems to think we've seen it before. How would it know that? Maybe, maybe the flag looks familiar. You might have seen it very recently. Well, let me just refresh and show you. Whoa, look at this. This this menu looks kind of like the flag of Sierra Leone. Oh, I press new game. I press new game. I press new game. All right, this shouldn't take too long to get back to. Okay, I just have to beat the whole game again. Easy. Oh, wait. I program this to have a different code every time. Alright, so now I'm going to refresh. Go to the main menu. So it said the answer was in the middle of its flag, meaning the middle of here. So, it's like... in this white space somewhere. But really, it's behind it. So, all you gotta do, click and drag. Whoa. The code is in level one lurking beneath the surface. I'm evil. You have to restart the game, find the code in level one, and then go all the way back to level 15. <laughs> I'm glad I forgot about that uh, element. There is the code. Just get rid of that concrete. I'm gonna type that in another tab. And I'm pretty sure I also programmed that to change every time. So no one can just tell you the answers. Well, they can tell you how to find the answers. Aller, Dover. One last code. Oh, oh my god. 9806804. This is it. This should be the end. 9806804. Hey! <laughs> You won, congrats, I'm impressed. Sorry, this is all you get for winning, but hey, the satisfaction of beating a game with a title like this is the true reward. Wow, I really know how to congratulate my my players. Well, gee, that was, uh, that was fun, sort of. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hopefully you got some level of enjoyment out of that. See you later.